Hello and welcome to the video that everyone has been waiting for for far too long. In fact, I looked at the dates of the questions earlier and it seems you've been waiting for it since May. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, thank you everybody for 2,000 subscribers. We're already on 2.2 thousand. It's incredible. I'm so grateful. Thank you. I appreciate it and I appreciate every single one of you for being here. But let's do this. I have the Q&A questions. Now, one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to give this to you is because I wanted to make the Q&A really cool and dramatic. So I was recording every question in a different place while I was on holiday, but I didn't record them all because I ran out of places and time. <laughs> um, so I didn't know what to do with that footage because it's just inconsistent. So you know what? I've scrapped it. It's fine. I don't even remember what I said to those questions. Am I going to do them again? So believe it or not, I'm currently on the sofa of Twitch streaming extraordinaire Suzui. You may recognize it if you watch her on Twitch. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, here I am. I wanted to be cozy and comfortable and just relaxed and talk to you guys. So here we are. I have the questions on my phone. Before we start, there is a white dot there on my microphone. It's paint from when I did the Resident Evil stream and I did mold makeup. I got paint on my mic. I can't get it off. Anyway, that's fine. <laughs> Let's jump in. Thank you guys for waiting for so long. Thank you for there being 2,000 of you. I appreciate you and I love you very much. So, Let's jump in question number one. Is this a cult? Quick and easy question. Try to leave and find out. Uh, favorite vegan meals? My favorite vegan meals are the same as my non-vegan meals because I can make any meal vegan within reason. Like I do a really good Korean fried chicken, Korean barbecue fried chicken. Super good. I don't make it because it's too good and I would eat too much of it. One of my favorite meals in general is um, spaghetti bolognese. So spaghetti and lasagna, some of my favorite things to eat, like tacos, enchiladas. My number one favorite meal that I make probably like once every like four or five weeks, tteokbokki, uh, Korean rice cakes in a gochujang sauce with cheese and onion and potato and tofu skin, inari tofu skin, things like that. Absolutely love it. And spring onions on top. I make it all the time. Thank you so much for asking. What's your favorite meal? What's been the hardest part of making content? By the way, these are anonymous unless a name was left. I don't know if you'll even remember the question you left because it was me. <laughs> so, sorry again. Um, the hardest part of making content definitely has been not having enough time to finish the content or record more things. It's having more ideas than I have time for. The amount of things I've started, recorded, not edited, not finished, or not even been able to start because of time. It's incredibly upsetting. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, how's my day going? I've had a really long good day. Thank you. I've completely changed my setup for streaming and work. So this room feels refreshed and then now I'm filming somewhere else. So yeah, it's good. I'm getting my confidence up so I can maybe at some point do like baking streams and get myself off that desk. <laughs> If you could describe yourself in three words, but one has to be your national insurance number, how would you describe yourself? Um, great question. Respectful, cautious, um, LG1734160. How many five-year-olds could you win in a fight against if they came at you in waves like cod zombies? That's maybe the most fantastic question I could ever be asked because I'd love to speak about fighting five-year-olds. Um, when you say how many five-year-olds and they come at me in waves like god zombies, is there one five-year-old per wave? Or is it, I suppose it's called zombie waves and it's how many waves of five-year-olds instead of zombies, so there's loads of them. Okay, now in god zombies I have an arsenal of tools, grenades and such, and I get to like wave 17. Now with the five-year-olds, let's assume I have the same grenades. I like to think they'd have more fear and they'd stop. So I'm going to say infinite waves because I think they'd stop coming. I think once I saw all the five-year-old bodies get blown up by grenades, they'd turn around at that point. Um, yeah. 
Will I be opening up an SMP or any server? Yes. What has been one of my favourite moments while streaming? Joel. Hi, Joel. Um, my favourite moments while streaming have been, like, we just did Resident Evil together and I loved playing that whole game through and finishing it with you guys. I really loved when we played Trivial Pursuit. That was really fun. Um, but I suppose maybe my absolute favourite could be, um, the first stream was my favourite moment because I was so new to it. It was so different. I just, yeah, I think just doing the very first one together and how, I don't know, how shy I was, but having all you guys there and feeling safe with you guys was my favourite. What's my favourite game in the Bioshock franchise? I just can't pick all of them. Maybe the first one. <laughs> uh, Archie begged me to ask a question, so do tell what could be your favourite flavour of jelly. Um, raspberry, and then strawberry, and then apricot. When did I get Buffy? I got Buffy in September 2023, specifically on September 9th, because her birthday is September 7th, and I was oh so sad that I couldn't get her on her birthday to celebrate it with her. How old is Buffy? Good follow up. Buffy is seven years. Buffy is six years old, turning seven this this September, <laughs> and I'm gonna throw her a birthday party with cake, and maybe I can do it on stream or something. I think that would be fun. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is royal blue, a very deep royal blue. None of the colors essentially that I have. In fact, kind of this color. Can you see this pillow? That colour. That colour's my favourite colour. <laughs> um, where's my favourite place to go to? Honestly, at the moment, my sofa with my dog, because I don't get to it much. We kind of only have that time in the morning on weekends before I start doing YouTube stuff, but when I sit there with her and we cuddle, that's my favourite place to go to. Otherwise, sitting by the sea and just looking at water makes me feel very grounded and very happy and very safe so maybe that um what's a place you hope to travel to ah oh, korea kegel ships on the da i'd like to go to korea uh japan too because it's right next to it but yeah i'd love to go to korea one day but like everywhere i'd like to travel everywhere <laughs> i've been to a good few places so far so i'm just gonna keep that going buffy's coming upstairs hi buffy on a scale of one to ten how cool is Crystal? 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cool is Goose? 10. <laughs> Do my koi have names? Um, yes. They do. My mum named them all. I had one I named Bob, but he was a goldfish. He died. The rest of the koi, one's called Ariel. That's the only one I remember. I'd have to ask my mum. She named them. But yeah, one's called Ariel. <laughs> I stopped naming them because after the first one I named died. I didn't really think it was a good luck omen to name the rest. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I am, for anyone who doesn't know, I have seven koi fish in my garden. Worst movies you've seen, Joel? It's a good question. Um, there was a film with Nicolas Cage where he plays himself as a down bad actor. I couldn't get, I was like 20 minutes into it, I couldn't continue. That was one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time, I'd say. Other than that, Mm. Yeah, just stuff that's stupid. Just like really, like really stupid humor. I find hard to watch when it's not actually funny. But yeah, that movie didn't like it. Sorry if anyone did. <laughs> um, let's have a look. What's my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Squirtle. I'll do my impression of Squirtle, but I'll try and do it calmly. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. I need to do it loudly so it didn't really work, but yeah. How many languages do you know if you include English? I know four languages. You see Espanol, Tamian, and Spanish, Korean, Bo, uh, or Arabic, and Arabic. They in English. <laughs> Are there any that you want to learn? I'd love to learn Japanese, but I'm not gonna try. I'd love to learn German. I'd love to learn Norwegian. That's kind of it. Those are the ones I'd be interested in. I've never wanted to learn French. Sorry to say. I think when you've learned Spanish, French becomes kind of a hard one to learn. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for asking. Do I watch any AFSMR to 
podcasts and if I do who I do of course um I watched ASMR planet and she made me want to try doing something like this um but a lot of the ASMR that I watch is Korean I will link them in the description below so you can check them out I like soy ASMR I like melts there's one I like to watch but I don't know their name so I'm gonna look at my history and I will put them in the description uh yeah and it's kind of mostly them I don't branch out too much otherwise and as you guys know actually while ASMR planet made me feel comfortable doing this as a British female. The person that made me make ASMR Minecraft videos was Morpheus ASMR Gaming. Big shout out to Morpheus ASMR Gaming for inspiring me to put myself out there. Keep up the good work. I just want to say that you've been doing awesome. Who is your favourite anime side character? Thank you for asking. I've emailed me and messed the questions, that's why I'm looking down there. My favourite anime side character, if you can count him, is Itachi Uchiha. He's my favourite. I like evil characters. My favourite, um, not that he's, like, particular, I mean, take what you will. Um, my favourite character in The Lion King was Scar. So that's also my favourite anime side character. Scar. <laughs> um, favourite TV or movie series? Um, favourite TV show is Practical Soul. Favourite movie? I like Tenet. And I like childhood movies like I like watching Pirates of the Caribbean and Harry Potter I like re-watching them I love watching Shrek and stuff like that um, I just love watching movies in general like I love watching anything film wise I love sitting down watching film I'm watching The Bear at the moment and I'm really enjoying it um Tom Hanks movie series any single thing with Tom Hanks. Um, this is vulnerable to talk about, so I won't go too far into it, but I have an unhealthy obsession with Tom Hanks. I, when I go into movie, like, places like CEX and look at the movies, if I find a movie with Tom Hanks on, I will cry, and if I see him in a movie, I will cry and get so excited that I can't contain it. I have reasons why, okay? I'm not, like, a freak. I'm not just obsessed, okay? I just, he gives me the warmest, comfiest energy and when I see him on screen I feel safe. With that in mind, I am too unhealthily attached to him as a person so I cannot see him cry in movies because I cry and it ruins my day. That was probably not the answer you expected. But there you go. Enjoy that knowledge. Okay. My dream vacation. Um, my dream holiday always would have been exploring and going around, like, and eating. Honestly, my dream holiday is eating. Anywhere I can go and try, like, good vegan food <laughs> and just eat, that's my dream holiday. Um, but now that I've done content creation for four months and I'm quite tired, I would just like to be on a beach and lie down with no thoughts. <laughs> but I'm sure when I get my energy back up, that'll change and my dream holiday again will be exploring. And stuff. If I could have any superpower to be to not have to sleep, to make everyone happy, um, is confidence a superpower? It kind of is. <laughs> um, maybe invisibility. Like if we talk about actual superpowers, I think invisibility, um, because I would just like to rob every bank in the world. Isn't that awful? Isn't that horrible? What a horrible thing to say. I'd still probably struggle to get in with the security they have, but I'd like that. I'd trouble the banks. <laughs> What's my favourite food? I like mochi. I like mochi a lot. Um, chocolate. Chocolate might be my favourite food. I've just ordered, I found on eBay, 18 bars of Cadbury salted caramel vegan chocolate. And yeah, it's going to make me so I like having chocolate bars every day. Um, yeah. Do I have any other favourite foods? Probably just chocolate and mochi. Mochi, I like cry when I eat mochi, it makes me so happy. Things that make me happy make me cry. I don't know if you've noticed that, if you've watched my Twitch streams. When I cry, anytime anyone's nice to me. There you go. Would you rather have free food or travel the world for free? Free food. I do more eating than travelling. And when I travel, all I would do is eat. So if it's like any food I want is free, then I would go free food and I would try 
everything and I would go to the best restaurants in the world and I would go to every street food market and I would also share it with everyone who I could. No world hunger. Let's go. It's better than holidays for me. <laughs> um, would you rather lose an arm or lose a leg? A leg. Because I don't lose my, use my legs as much as my arms. <laughs> I think I could live without a leg. I could live without an arm. I could live without anything apart from my heart. A lot to think about with this question. I would rather lose a leg um, because you guys would have no idea. There we go. Will I? Will I ever go bald? Not by choice. Thank you for asking. Great question. Have I ever gone bald? The okay, right? No. Um, <laughs> I when I was like 15, 16, cut my hair to like here. Um. There's a lot to unpack there, but we won't. Um, and then I started growing out again, and I got it really long. I got it down to like here, and then I went blonde, and it all broke up to here, and then I went brown again, and it's back down to here. Speaking of which, I've been thinking about dyeing my hair really dark brown lately. Not sure for a while, but I've been thinking about it. Anyway, <laughs> I know they did. No, I will never go bald. Not on purpose. I imagine that you listened to a lot of Elvis music growing up. Do you have a favorite song of his? Uh, correct assumption, because I've told you guys my dad does Elvis impersonation, so he, you know, does shows as Elvis, and he sung Elvis songs my entire childhood. My favorite Elvis song is Love Me Tender. And Wooden Heart. Um, yeah. If I could replace one human actor in any movie, or roll with a Muppet, what role might I be Private Ryan, sitting Private Ryan? hilarious question thank you so much for asking that i do really appreciate it um let me think please if you don't mind i would replace nick fury in all of the avengers movies and tv shows that he's in with a muppet because he's so serious that i think it would be hilarious if you were a muppet great question more of those not that this is live but still more of those <laughs> go to order at a coffee shop matcha latte with oat milk and like a little bit of vanilla every time or a green tea um i also do, i like trying things honestly every time i go to a coffee shop i get something different last time i got a pumpkin spice latte just to see what everyone was talking about but yeah um i get a matcha i went to costa once and they didn't have matcha and he was like i don't know what that is and i thought that seemed criminal for a coffee shop am i having a good holiday whoops i'm now back i had a lovely holiday but um, I'm so work oriented that I didn't stop doing YouTube stuff. I didn't stop working the entire time. Very silly of me, but it's what I wanted to do. I had a really good holiday. Thank you. Gosh, time is flying with these. I don't know how long it's been for you guys because someone's going to have to edit a lot out, but <laughs> it's been a long time for me. Um, what were your goals when starting a channel? Um, make friends. <laughs> I just wanted to put myself out there and like meet people and make friends and that's why I love Twitch streaming so much because I get to hang out with you guys live and chat to you live. Yeah, I just wanted to meet people and make friends and I've made the most wonderful friends. Actually, I haven't. I haven't made any friends. I've made a family and friends. I've made a beautiful family of people that I care about so very much. So, so far, aims achieved. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted. And just to have fun. I wanted to have fun. Now it's kind of different, I want to relax people, and I want to have people enjoy them and feel calm. But yeah, I just wanted to make friends and have fun. What did I want to do growing up? I wanted to be a psychologist from the moment that I was born. I read psychology books on the playground in primary school. Primary school, for anyone that's not from the UK, is like ages 4 to 12. Yeah, I'd sit on the playground on my own and read psychological theorem and then I did it in university so yeah kept going and now I work a funny old job and I make YouTube videos <laughs> but it's come on <laughs> yeah I, I always wanted to sing as well I've always enjoyed singing but I like I'm too shy to actually sing in front of people so yeah I just always wanted to do psychology 
and therapy of some sort. Many people use your videos to relax. What do you do to relax? My number one method to relax, run a bubble bath, put a bath bomb in, put funny YouTube videos on, sit back with my head on a towel and candles and just let all the stress go out of me. And then I get a wild bowl of things I need to do and I get out after 10 minutes. But for those 10 minutes, I'm incredibly relaxed. Thank you for asking. Favorite type of sushi? Um, kimbap. Not sushi. So it doesn't count. My favorite type of sushi is loaded with all sorts of veg and like tofu skins and stuff. But I will say instead, I am a, I'm a maki fan. I do like, you know, when you have a really good cucumber or avocado maki, it's very good. Mm. Just while I'm thinking about it, if you're wondering where I got these questions from, we made a channel on the Discord server to receive them. So please, there's a link to the Discord in the bio if you would like to join in and join in with future videos and streams. Please do. Favorite way to cook tofu? My favorite way to cook tofu? Great question. Is, um dry it, coat it in corn flour and spices, and then oven bake it, and it gets like, it's still really soft and chewy inside, but the outside's really crispy and nice. Um, if I wasn't thinking about health-wise, my favorite way to cook so uh, tofu then would be, okay, battered and fried in banker breadcrumbs, because it's delicious. If you had endless resources, what would you want to do within content creation? If I had endless resources, I would quit my job. I would get an editor. I would give them all my video footage for my ASMR. I would also record vlogs and give them all my footage for my vlogs. I would just make stuff all day. Now, I didn't just get the urge to make a YouTube channel all of a sudden. I have numerous, numerous childhood videos I can show you at some point in the future of me vlogging as a kid. Anytime anyone gave me a camera, I would storyboard and vlog. I just always, like, um, I watched one the other day and I just go, Hi everyone, welcome back to the blank family. Today we're setting off Chinese lanterns. And like I would just always vlog. I didn't even know what vlogging was, I was tiny, but I would always do it. <laughs> um yeah, so I would do all those things I want to do. I do ASMR and I'd vlog and I'd stream. Have someone do the editing so I can do whatever I want. Um and then I'd want to help people. If I had endless resources, I'd want to do more stuff with like outreach, maybe that's what the vlogs would be, like rescuing ducks and helping people in need and just giving back. That's what I would want to do, just make people happy and come see you guys. Okay. Dream dog breed, my actual favourite dog breed is Samoyeds, I think they're beautiful and gorgeous. They look like this, so you better Samoyed that. Um, but I love rescuing greyhounds, that's what Buffy is, Buffy's a greyhound. I would love to get an Italian greyhound. I think they're goofy and gorgeous and I would be able to fit one in my house with Buffy because they're so tiny. Um, so yeah, maybe that's my dream dog breed. Um, would I make a Patreon for exclusive content? Yeah, I mean, I have members videos at the moment for exclusive content. They have like, what, kind of, I'm going to start doing vloggy stuff on them. But they have updates and little check-ins and I'm going to start doing bloopers on them. So there's not been many in this video, but if there is any bloopers, I'll put them there. <laughs> I've been pretty calm. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd consider making a Patreon for exclusive content, maybe for like art stuff, like art videos, I don't know. I would love to, if there was something people wanted to see. I guess the idea for a Patreon would have to be that, like, it would have to be really taking my resources to then validate it. Yeah. My hair routine? I think this was, I think I have talked about this before. I don't know why you'd be interested, but it has been a journey. Like I said earlier, I was blonde and all my hair broke off. I needed to fix it. And also my hairdresser ghosted me, so I had to take um, things into my own hands. So I went back to being brunette like two years ago. Um, I use rosemary oil on my scalp before I shower. I leave it on for like two hours and I really rub it in. Um, and then I use a clarifying shampoo and then a normal shampoo and conditioner. It's very important to try a lot of shampoos and conditioners because even if one is good and it has good reviews, everybody's hair is different. So experiment, use a lot. <laughs> um, then I use a hair mask, like a leave-in conditioner, because I have really tight curls. I get rid of them, but I do have very tight curls. Don't tell me to embrace them. I would if I wanted to. It's fine. I do sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I use a really, really good heat protectant, and I blow dry it with a roller brush and a hair dryer. 
and that's what I do. And it's got much healthier. It has shine. My hair never had shine. That's how I do my hair. Okay. Okay. Etsy story. I've spoken about this on stream a couple of times. Um, the fact that I got <laughs> permanently banned on Etsy. And not just banned, but I actually got restricted. So I can no longer make any accounts on Etsy or eBay. Now let me tell you about it. I'll tell you the whole story. So I was an eBay Etsy seller. Um, I had multiple accounts for different things, which I didn't believe, and I still do not believe, violates the terms of service on Etsy. I think it's fine to have multiple accounts. Uh, yeah, sold different things. Um, I had a couple of situations where buyers, I had, um, to be honest with you, <laughs> I'll flex a little bit too. I had like 14,000 sales on Etsy. Now, it doesn't mean I made like 14,000 pounds. I just had sold that many things. A lot of them lost me money because I was doing it for fun. I had some instances where people would say that they hadn't received the product and I would have full evidence that they had received it and postage and packaging. I even had one time where they said they hadn't received it and quoted the wrong shipping number and I then said to Etsy, no, that's not the tracking number I provided. This isn't proof that they've not received it. And they gave them the refund anyway. So a couple of things like that put me off the platform at first. But when we get, when we talk about the actual reasons why I got banned off Etsy, uh, it's because I broke terms of service too many times. Didn't stop. That's all I'll say about that. That is everything. Again, I collected these all the way back in May, so it's been a little while. So I'm sorry for taking so long to actually make it and come back and do this video, but it's been really nice. Um, I cannot believe that in four months there is 2.2k of us. We've grown so quick and I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm really glad and happy to have you here. I hope you've enjoyed content from the sofa. Is this something you'd like to see again? I'd like to do it again because it's nice to not sit on my desk for a change. <laughs> but I will go sit on my desk for a good hour or so now. I think we're playing some games on Discord so I'm gonna go do that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything. Thank you guys for submitting questions. If you ever want to see another Q&A, feel free to leave some questions down below. If you want to know more about me, I'm not that interesting. But yeah, why don't you guys tell me like a fun fact about yourself. Now, everyone has fun facts, so dig deep. It doesn't have to be interesting. It doesn't have to be fun. Just tell me something. Tell me just a fact, a non-fun fact. Tell me a boring fact about yourself. Okay, I'll tell you one about me. Let me think. fact um to get out of bed i blast music on spotify usually baby no money and get up dancing and have like a morning party and that wakes me up that's my fun fact isn't that very on brand <laughs> okay that is all i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you find it relaxing to sit and just listen to me talk i could honestly talk for england so if you did enjoy it let me know I wouldn't be over that.